Hi guys, welcome back to Pete's Cookhouse. Uh, today we got something special going on. We're going to do quesadilla. Uh, we're going to do two versions of it. We're going to do the steak quesadilla, and we're also going to be doing a uh, cheese uh, quesadilla. Two cheese or three cheese, lots of cheese quesadilla. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing first the steak quesadilla, but first we have to uh, prep the steak. And I'd like to send a shout out to Andrew at VG Meats up at 131 Centennial, Upper Centennial in Stony Creek. Uh, great meat shop. If you want a specialty cut, if you want anything meat-wise or poultry or pork or whatever, these are the guys to go and see. All right? So we have what Andrew recommended, a beautiful cut of Denver steak. Now this thing, uh, you will not find at your local grocery store. You need to get this at your butcher shop and Vigi Meat can get that for you. So we're gonna just start by seasoning it, really simple. We're gonna do uh, salt, like kosher salt on this on all sides. We're gonna do uh, black pepper also and some garlic powder. And that's all we're gonna be doing. And we're gonna be going and cooking this on the barbecue. We're gonna put a quick sear on it. Uh, nice, beautiful color. And after that, we're gonna cook it on indirect heat uh, until it reaches a temperature of 135. And that's gonna be our steak cooked for our steak quesadilla. And you notice I'm not trimming any fat off of this because fat is flavor. And uh, we leave it on there, we want it. So pepper's on there, uh, sorry, salt is on there. Adding some pepper. You can go lightly, you can go however you want. This is completely up to you. So a little bit more here. Be generous. And that, and last but not least, garlic powder. That just adds a little zing to it. There we go. Now just mop up the board. Get everything on there. Now what's left to be done is start up the barbecue and we're going to grill this thing. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back. So I finished barbecuing the steak and what I did is I brought, I, I cooked, I seared it 
and I brought it up to 135 degrees and then I sliced it and I put it back on the barbecue just to add a little bit more charring to it and then I sliced it up into really fine little pieces so that uh, they're going to be easy to bite uh, and the tortilla. Uh, not the tortilla, and the ques quesadilla. So the ingredients you're going to be needing, we're going to be doing two quesadillas. One is cheese. Now, the cheese that I use, I use uh, Monterey Jack and um, Havarti, just because it melts very well. Uh, tortillas, you're going to need some butter, uh, your steak, naturally. Uh, green onions and tomatoes. That's going to be the second one we're going to be doing, which is basically going to be cheese and a little bit of uh, vegetables. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Turn on the heat pan, and I will also need a lid for a little special trick that I will show you guys. All right, now to begin, we need little bit of butter in your pan. Now, we always put butter on tortillas. It adds a little bit of crispiness to it uh, while it cooks. So, you get your pan nice and hot, your butter bubbling, and once that starts to go, we're going to be building and putting the tortillas in. All right. First tortilla goes in. What we do afterwards is we layer our cheese. Lay it around. Don't be afraid Put all the cheesy, ooey, gooey, gooeyness, gooeyness around it. Now, now we're going to use our steak. Spread that around. Cover everywhere, all the areas. Like so, that. All right. Now, we use our lid. We get this to melt a little bit. Once it starts to melt, it's going to act as a little binder, like a little glue. So we can put our other tortilla on. But while that's happening, we're going to put some butter on our tortilla. All right. Put the other tortilla on there, press it down so that it kind of glues. Alright, now we go in and we flip this thing around. Okay, without making a mess. Oh, there we go. See how golden brown this thing is? Now you press it and you do the same thing for the other side. Now we're going to move some stuff because we're going to put our quesadilla here until it cools a little bit so we can cut it and then we serve it. But first we're going to do our other one. Um, probably going to need a little bit more cheese for that. All right, so we take our other quesadilla. Let's just flip it over, see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So, take this thing out, put it on a cutting board, let it cool off a little bit. All right, guys, so now we're going to build the second tortilla, uh, quesadilla, uh, which is more of a two cheese, tomato, and green onion, kind of. Uh, very tasty, very good. Um, I mean, like, it's a, it's a different option, right? So we do the same thing as we did with the cheat, uh, the steak one. Add butter in the pan. Get it nice, hot, nice and hot. And move it around. Add your tortilla. Like that. And then you add your cheese. All over. No, again, it's Havarti and Monterey Jack. So, the more cheese, the better. So, spread it around, make sure everything's covered. All right. Then you add your tomatoes.
and you add your green onions. Make sure you get good coverage. All right. Now, put a lid on that. Let the cheese melt a little bit. Help it, basically help it to melt. And we're going to grab our second tortilla, our top lid. We're going to butter that up. Don't mind if you hear footsteps or slippers around. That's uh, Jax, our Great Dane. 165 pounds, and he can pick up stuff off the counter with no problem. Want to say hi, Jax? Want to say hi? Say hi to mom. <laughs> All right. Um, take the lid off. This cheese is starting to melt. So we're going to put our lid on top. And we're going to press it down. Make sure that everything sticks with the cheese. And wait a few seconds here. And then we're going to flip it. Take a look what it looks like on the other side. Now, um, you guys can use any type of sauce, a dipping sauce that you want. Uh, if you want to use sriracha sauce or uh, spicy mayo or um, uh, whatever type, really, would you want. Um, we're just basically going to use um, um, something. All right, so we'll get back to that. Now we flip this one up, hang on, and there we go, like that. That doesn't get any better. Flatten it out, cook it for a couple of seconds on the other side, then put it on the board, and we'll cut it up, and uh, then we eat. So, stay tuned. All right, let's get this thing out here. See what it looks like on the other side. Oh, no, a little bit more. Oh, like that. That's how you recuperate it. <laughs> you hungry, Jax? Yeah? Hang on. All right. And that, you see cheese, tomato, and onion quesadilla. So we'll leave it there, and we will cut these, and we will plate them and serve them. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, there you have it. Steak and cheese quesadilla, cheese and tomato quesadilla with sour cream and a little garnish around it presentation. All that's left to be done right now is to enjoy it. So I will take a bite because I am hungry. I'm going to try this one here. A bit of sour cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. The steak is amazing. Remember, Denver steak, it's worth the while. Go to VG Meats, ask for Andrew. He will point you in the right direction. And trust me, you will not regret it. Ladies and gentlemen, hope, excuse me. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button, notification button, and see you on the next episode. See you. Bye.